Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see how to add snow to a photo inside of Photoshop Elements. I'm using Photoshop Elements 12 for this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And I'm going to do that over here in the Layers panel. I'm going to click on the Create a New Layer icon. And you can see that puts a new blank layer above my background layer. And it's named Layer 1 by default. Now I want to fill that layer with black. So I'll go to the Edit menu, choose Fill Layer, and in the dialog box that opens, in this drop-down menu, I'll choose Black, and then say OK. And my entire new layer is filled with black, and it hides my background layer because it's on top of it. Now I'm going to go up to the Filter menu, and choose Noise, and Add Noise. And in this box, I want to set my amount to 200%. And I want to make sure that Gaussian is selected. And also that monochromatic is checked. And then I'll click OK. Now I'm going to go up to the Filter menu again. And this time I'm going to choose Blur and Gaussian Blur. And in this window, I want to make sure that I have two pixels selected in that radius box and then I'll click OK. And now I want to make a Levels Adjustment. So I'm going to go up to the Enhance menu, choose Adjust Lighting, and select Levels. And I get the Levels dialog box. There's three sliders with numbers under each of them. Starting over on the left, I'm going to double click on this first number, which is set to 0. And I'm going to type in 125. And then I'm going to double click on the center number and I'm going to type in 0.75 and for the third number I'm going to type in 170 and then I'm going to say OK. And now I want to blur that again so I'm going to go back to the filter menu choose blur and this time instead of Gaussian blur I'm going to choose motion blur. For angle I'm going to put in minus 55 and for distance, I want it to be at 10 pixels. And then I'll click OK. And now I'm going to change the blend mode uh, for this layer. I'm going to click where it says Normal at the top. And from the drop-down menu, I'm going to choose Screen. And now you can see it already looks like it's snowing on my photo. But we're going to take it a little further. I'm going to duplicate that layer. And I can do that by just um, clicking and dragging it onto the Create a New Layer icon. It's called Layer 1 Copy. And if I turn it off and on, you can kind of see the before and after. So now the snow is sort of enhanced. And I'm going to go up to the Image menu and choose Rotate. And Rotate Layer 180 Degrees. Now I'm going to merge those two layers together. You can just go up to the Layer menu and choose Merge Down. And you can see I'm back to just uh, one extra layer above the background layer. And now um, to intensify this whole effect a little more, I'm going to duplicate that layer again. So I'll drag it onto the Create a New Layer icon. It intensifies the, the look. Now I'm going to go up to the Image menu and choose Transform, Free Transform. And down in the Tool Options, the Tool Options are at the bottom of your window for versions 11 and 12. For earlier versions, you'll find these options at the top of the window in what used to be called the Options Bar. But they're the same settings. And what I want to do is make sure Constrained Proportions is checked, which it is. And now I'm going to double click in the Width field to highlight the type. And I'm going to type in 175. And because I have Constrained Proportions checked, the height automatically changes to 175 also. What that did was it made the top layer, which was a duplicate of the layer under it, it made that a little bigger so it looks like some of those snowflakes are bigger and closer to us. Now I'm going to 
click on the green check mark to accept that size change. And just so we know what's what, I'm going to double click on the name of the top layer and I'm going to call it, let's call it Large Flakes. And the one below it, let's call that Small Flakes. Now I'm going to duplicate my Small Flakes layer and I'll just click and drag that onto the Create a New Layer icon and let's look at the before and after. So now it's really snowing out and I like that effect. And that's it. We're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll be able to use this technique with the upcoming holiday season. And uh, until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.